Hi, thanks for using my court coach. I'm Sarah and I'll be your instructor today as we talk about the stipulation for entry of judgment regarding establishment of parental relationship, also known as FL240. As with all our court forms, you want to fill in your identifying case caption information at the top. You would use this form if you have reached a written agreement with the other party with respect to the establishment of paternity. Um, so first you want to mark that the parties have both read and understand the advisement and waiver of rights regarding establishment of parental relationship. Uh, so mark box one, then you want to list each party's name and identify that party as either the mother or father. Um, and then you want to list the name and birth dates of the following children that these parties are agreeing that they are the mother and father of. Um, if your proposed judgment includes child custody and visitation orders, mark box three. If your proposed judgment includes child support orders, mark box four. If your proposed judgment includes attorney fees orders, mark box five. If your proposed judgment includes name change requests for the minor children, mark box six. If your proposed judgment includes uh, the payment for expenses related to the pregnancy and birth, mark box seven. If your proposed judgment includes any other orders that are not specified above, mark box eight. And if the, uh, whatever those orders are, you want to specify below in nine. If this is not enough space, you can always include an additional page as an attachment and expand on that. Um, then you want to type each party's name below and then have them sign and date. And then this form is ready to submit as part of your final judgment package. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.